Good morning, guys. You're watching Amber in the AM, which of course makes me Amber, and this is everything you need to know to talk sports with the best of them today. Donovan McNabb makes it three for three. Benched in Cincinnati just a month ago, McNabb has reverted to his Pro Bowl form as the Eagles won their third straight game with a dominating 30 to 10 performance over the Cleveland Browns Monday night. McNabb completed 26 of 35 passes for 290 yards and a pair of scores, and Philly is now 8-5-1, still in the NFC playoff picture, but looking for some help. For the Browns, that's four losses in a row, although they did finally find the end zone for that first time in that span on Brandon McDonald's pick six in the fourth quarter. And speaking of losing, Carl Peterson is out after nearly 20 years as president and GM of the 2-12 and Kansas City Chiefs. The move is effective at season's end. Some defensive line troubles for a pair of playoff teams. Pat Williams of the Vikings will miss two to six weeks with a fractured shoulder, while Tennessee's Albert Hainsworth and Kyle Vandenbosch are out at least until the playoffs with knee and groin injuries respectively. The reigning NBA champion Boston Celtics picked up their 15th victory in a row, 191 over visiting Utah. Rajon Rondo propelled the seas with 12 of his career best 25 points in the final five and a half minutes of play. Paul Pierce exited in the final minute with a left knee injury, but he should be fine. The Celtics at 23-2 and two are equal to the great start of the 95-96 Bulls and are just three wins shy of the best start in NBA history. Mike D'Antoni returned to Phoenix, but his Knicks shot a paltry 5 for 37 from beyond the arc on the way to a 111-103 loss to the Suns. Another coach asked yesterday, Reggie Theus fired by Sacramento after a 6-18 start that six coaches can't already this season Interim coach Kenny Nat won 118-103 over the T-Wolves in his debut last night. And call it an orange stunner, Cleveland State, yes, that's right, Cleveland State shocked number 11 Syracuse at the Carrier Dome. Cedric Jackson took an inbounds pass with 2.2 seconds left and swished a runner at the buzzer from beyond half court, sending the Orange to their first loss of the season. On the ice, the San Jose Sharks down to the Kings 3-2 in a shootout, setting an NHL record for most points after 30 games with 52 and tying the mark for wins at 25. And that, guys, is everything you need to know in the world of sports. If you missed anything here today, you know the drill. Stop, refresh, and rewatch. I am Amber Wilson, and you have a terrific Tuesday. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.